I am so excited to announce to you that now we have our own and special African Give community platform and this platform was built for you. So what are some of the things you can do on this platform? You can join our special forum section which is called the community of geeks and in this section we have several forums on the platforms. We have the Canva forum, we have the content creation forum and we have the digital marketing forum. More forums are going to be added but what can you do in these forums? You can ask questions and learn from other experts who would be on the forum. Another thing you can do is to create your own special group on the platform and in this you can add people, you can manage a group as if you are doing it on Facebook and you can do so much more in these groups. Also when you create an account, there are several things you can do, okay, you can check your timeline, you can check notifications, you can send messages to other members on the site, you can check your connections, you can even have pending connections because when people send you follow requests, you would have to accept or you can also reject. You can create forums, you can check your photos and your albums, you can send invites to other people and you can also log out. <laughs> so to get started, find the link in the description box below and sign Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can find related images in Canva. And with this, it's very important because when you are designing things like carousels, you know, it's, um, it's a very nice thing if you can have related images in your carousel. And this is one of the most popular questions people usually ask me. And this time around, I'm going to just show you how I find related images in Canva. So, without any much I do, let me roll the intro and once I come back, I'll take Damn. I'll take you on. Alright, so this is the first thing. Um, we are in Canva, yes, and uh, I was working on the tutorial earlier on. So, I will just, I haven't shared this yet, so I will just maybe use this as an example or no. Let me not use this one because um, it's already done. So let's say I wanted to design a car. So I just click on create a design, custom dimension, 1080 by 1350. It should open a blank, um, you know, canvas for me. Okay. So once it's open, I come to my photos and in photos, um, I have this image over here. Okay. So this is the thing you have to do. The first thing you have to do is to right click on the photo if you like it. Okay. But you know i'm sure by then it would already be on your canvas okay so when you right click on the photo we have the name of the photo okay so kid with the wings of a bird okay so i click on it and it should open inside your browser okay and um it will just go in canva okay but it would open in canva that's what i mean and in there you get all the information about um the photo so you can see the price of the photo submitted blah 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 you see all of these interesting things over here so what we are going to do is we click and select the name the description of the photo okay so you just copy it okay then i just um come into canva come into photos okay and i just drop it here so when i drop it there it gives me related images you can see of the same girl but doing several things inside of canva so you see how it works now let's try another image to see if it actually works because this shouldn't be like um one strategy or one way that works for only one type of photo no so i'm going to search for um cyberpunk okay cyber then punk p-u-n-k then um yeah and this is one image i also used some time ago so i select this image right click then i select blonde um in vr glasses headphones so the same thing it opens canva okay on my chrome did i say chrome <laughs> on my browser yes then i just select okay i select the name copy come back and i just paste it here and let's see what happens so many things um not so many things but the same i get so many images of the same lady okay so you can see we have a lot okay even with this it's giving us a uh, other ones okay so you can see we from the beginning we saw related images of the same um girl but one thing i realized that with another image let me right click okay so you can see the same name and um, if you also right click here the same name okay so you can see good so blonde 
in VR and blah blah in the 90s suit okay in the 90s something something sports suit with this one i can assure you that i would find a lot okay because it's really specific on um, even with the suit and all of that so i just come here and okay copy come back and copy and if i search i should find a lot okay of the same girl but doing different things and this is still the same person just that with um, a different background and stuff like that so you can see that we are finding so many images inside of canva and these are related images let's try for the third one so so we have this here and um, let's say i wanted to work with this one i would right click and um, father and daughter playing outdoors so i'll just click on it and it should open again inside of canva okay nice one so now that i have this i can copy this entire text or the description all right and copy and paste then you can see we have the same people but doing so many interesting things and there's one more thing i want to introduce to you sometimes okay um let me go back to um indian neon okay this was an image i was working with the last time okay or well, let me just go back let me just close everything and go to um recently used okay there are some images i worked with the last time and there was something very interesting about it so so let's see with this one i right click and i just click on you know the title of the image then it should open in canva all right so let's see how things are going to look like over here all right so now that is open we just select the description which is sexy woman in image and i just copy come back here and let me just okay paste good so when i paste you can see it's in sorry we couldn't find any images or any photos for sexy blah 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 and you know why the reason is because of the word sexy okay so if i clear the sexy out of there and i search i should be able to find tons of images related to um, what i was looking for you can see and you know normally canva usually um tries to avoid words like sexy and these kind of high um you know sensitive words so that's the only thing if it's in the description just click from there and um, you'll still be able to find related images inside of canva so this is what i had for you today and i hope you found this useful you found it entertaining you found it helpful don't forget you can like comment subscribe because more canva tutorials will be coming our way so yes the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video